Hello guys, what is up? It's Teach here, come at you again with another video over on Fjordor, and as you can see, we are over near Steinbjorn. If you've never seen Steinbjorn, Steinbjorn before, these are the chords that you need to go down in the death zone of Jotunheim, 77.6, 30.9, and you'll get to a cave. Now with this cave, there's nothing dangerous on the inside of the cave. You kind of just have to run down it. What I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to show you how to cheese Steinbjorn. Basically hack the way so you don't have to fight him at all. You can safely chew this from a great distance. Now it's a very simple thing to do, but you have to do how you want. It's up to you. Now, it's up to you how you do this. I always bring a couple of med brews when I'm doing this. Good fur is just fine. You only need access to a grappling hook, and that's it. Grappling hook and a sniper just in case. That'll make sense in a second here. Now, if you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below. That would be awesome. If you want to consider subbing to the channel, that would be awesome as well. If only 10% of the people that watch my videos subbed, I would have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and that would be awesome. So if you don't mind, just click the button. That'd be awesome. But anyways, continuing now. So all you have to do, run down this cave, right? You get to this statue right here, and then you make sure you have 30 runestones and you'll be able to summon Steinbjorn. Now, once you summon Steinbjorn, he is a very dangerous monster. So the only way to successfully beat him very easily, I'd like to say, is to get up high. Now, there are a few points that you can go to. It's up to you how you do it. If you go too low, he will hit you with his AOE attack. But if you go up to some of these ledges, like this one right here, you can throw out a Volonosaur and rain down upon him, making it very easy. Now, this isn't the best ledge, simply due to the fact that it's got a little bit of a lip at the bottom, so he will be able to uh, kind of hide underneath the ledge, if you want to think about it that way. You want to find a ledge, like kind of like this one right here. This will work, too. It doesn't matter really which one, um, and you can kind of just like shoot down at him without being able to move. So that's like what you're aiming for when you do this. Um, but don't go too low because those AOE attacks will still hurt you pretty bad. It doesn't matter whether you go to that one or the one I've just given you over there. Um, both of them will work just fine. So I like to use this one, even though it does cause a little bit of a problem sometimes, because he'll regularly get stuck in this right here, and it makes it very easy to go after him with the Velodosaur. So without, you know, causing too much issue, let's go ahead and show you how to do it, right? So there, we're summoning him now. you got to get out pretty quick from him. And then we're going to go ahead and launch ourselves up to the top, just like we do with the rock golem. And we'll go ahead and head into the shooting mode. And you can see those things that I'm talking about right there. And you just sit up here and you smoke him. That's it. This is as hard as this boss fight is. And you can go into first person right now and see how he just gets stuck there. It's literally that easy. You just, you just rain on him. There's no time limit. He kind of just sits there and uh, does that, unfortunately, sometimes. So be careful of that. So I forgot about that. Um, but notice how he, you can back up against the ledge and it will be a... Uh, that's how you kind of block yourself from taking damage from those. Um, come on, hit the edge and see how he's kind of like just chilling right there. He's doing that. That's just fine. He'll walk over towards us slowly. And once he stops and kind of like puts everything there, we're going to back up and use this ledge to kind of protect ourselves but we just have to wait until he's done like doing his little thing here. Now it's pretty important, so like right there, that's when you want to back up. So see how he's uh, got those rocks there? He will kill you, so you want to be careful about that. Um, but if he's down where he is right there and, and not walking around, he will literally just throw those rocks into the ledge right there. So that is how you beat this thing super easily. And we have a primitive saddle on this one, just so you know. So that's kind of like how, how I like to do it. But again, up to you if you want to do it that way or not. So that's the most dangerous part. Um, you can have a couple of Rexes down there and that would probably solve it just soaking for you while you sit up here. And that could be a solution. Again, see them do that. We're backing up until we can't be hit by those. And then you go right back. And you saw that time how easily it works. You just have to back up into the ledge and make sure he gets stuck right there. It does hurt a little bit if he goes a little bit further back because uh, he will be able to hit you with those. But you can kind of see the point that I'm, I'm getting across here. You literally just sit up here and just cheese him. Now, a good VLO will take, uh, I mean, you'll still take some time in order to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up and let him let him think about his life here, right? And uh, yep, he's almost gonna do the thing. And here they come, but we're on the ledge, so we shouldn't get hit by any of them. Oh, we got hit by one of them. All right, so if you have some meat or raw meat, you can easily out heal one or two of those rocks. And uh, you just sit up here and do this. This is literally the entire boss fight. It, it's. It's a great way to cheese it, in all honesty. And it's one thing that I would highly recommend you do because you save yourself a lot of time, a lot of tames, and you only need a Volonosaur. I mean, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer and you can see that 
I'm what at a third health and we've done this video for five minutes now um, all right so see how he's got those rocks going back get as far back as you can he hit us with one still but you can easily out heal that don't forget so just out heal that thing um, and that's how you beat that just like pop a couple of pieces of meat and you've already overcome the uh, the damage that was done by that one rock and there is no increased damage to any spot of his body. You just have to sit up here and melt him. That's that's kind of how it is. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through all this so you don't have to sit and watch me do it, but you can see that I'm doing it this way. And uh, that's, that's kind of how it's going to be. guys he is just about done and just so you can see it is this easy you just need to slowly chunk him with the velonosaur and when he does a little spinny thing you just got to back up a little bit it's it's that easy see we're out of distance so we're not going to be able to actually uh soak up the loot but it's an easy way just to drop down and take it from his inventory and boom look at that easy freaking peasy so he is apparently looted we have some nice i like that maywing saddle actually that's really good riot leggings and then the element free element and you will get flak bps sometime from him and uh, that's kind of you know the best way to take him out you can't really drag his body because he's too big but you can't get a dermis from him so make sure you claim that dermis off this guy and hopefully this video helps you out if you're looking to play on a server come check out my cluster click the discord link below and it'll take you how to join and then if you're looking for a discount code for your server in general check out g portal you have a five percent off coupon down below permanently by the way and you'll also get a very awesome server that's who i run my stuff through and uh hope this video helps you out other than that teach out